The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be talking about good and cheap PlayStation games that you can still find. I have been doing this series on my channel talking about games that are still affordable, as many who watch this channel are collectors and love to collect video games. So if you're new to this channel, hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I upload videos every week, and I hope you enjoy my channel, and here we go. So. I've been collecting PlayStation a long time and I absolutely love it. There's so many different types of games on the console. You know, it, it's, it's got everything covered. And so in this video, I did a mix of uh, games that you typically can find, a couple that you may have not thought about that are very affordable to this day. And so, you know, it, it's such a great library. It's such a great console. You know, for many people, they grew up with PlayStation or it's something they experienced, you know, uh, you know, in their teens or even in college, such as myself. You know, PlayStation was uh, a huge impact on my collecting. And, you know, I can't believe the PlayStation 5 is right around the corner. And, you know, it's good to go back and revisit some of these classics because some of them are excellent games. All right. First up. You know, the Twisted Metal series is very popular and known on the PlayStation console, but Vigilante 8 is another great car combat uh, game series. And, you know, I, I think it's fantastic. And I really like the first one. It's very affordable. I'm a big fan of going to the original of a series to, to check it out. And, you know, this, this is a good one. And so it's got great gameplay. Um, you know, it, it's multiplayer, there's some different modes in it. There's some hidden secrets, lots of different weapons. And, you know, it's just, it's just got a cool vibe to it. I do recommend this game. It, it is well done and fairly affordable. Some of these games on this list vary in price, but you know all of them are gonna be relatively inexpensive. More importantly, you're gonna be able to find these anywhere that sells PlayStation that has uh, a, a decent library. Next up is the famous Driver. And what I like about Driver, again, uh, many of these games that I show today have different modes in them. Uh, and some of, these, some of these games you can just drive around and, and you don't have to do any objectives. That's what I like about Driver. Sometimes it's nice just to go around and, and cause mayhem and stuff. And so uh, this is a great game. Uh, my good friend Corey was a big fan of this game and showed, uh, showed me this back in the day. A lot of fun to play and, uh, and fairly affordable too. And so another way to, to save money too is to go disc only. And so you can find these uh, games typically everywhere. This next one is, is something, you know, I just got done playing uh, several hours on Squadron's new Star Wars game. And I remember this game, and this is a this is an overlooked Star Trek game on the original PlayStation. And this is Star Trek Invasion. There's lots of missions in this game. It's fantastic space combat. It has that perfect blend of arcade and a little bit of sim. And you know, it's it's got some great voice work and music. This is a game that many people have not played, and it is definitely one if you're a fan of Star Trek or science fiction, go back and play this one. It's one or two players. There, there's, there's some neat things in this game, and it's often overlooked, so check it out. For just straight up puzzle games, you can't go wrong with a Tetris, and there's Tetris Plus, there's a couple different label variations of this. There's like a gold foil version on Greatest Hits as well. And this is a great head-to-head -head puzzle. And this is just, you know, a, a straight up Tetris game on the PlayStation. You know, it doesn't do anything fancy, but you know, it's, it's such an iconic puzzle game. And you know, it's still one of the best puzzle games on any console. Uh, you can't go wrong with this version. You know, it's, it, it sold really well. You can typically find it everywhere. And, it, and you know, because people still like to play Tetris, you know, especially, you know, for me, if I have like a hard day at work, I like a good old puzzle game just to kind of get my mind off things. And so, yes. All right, this next one was a budget release, $10. And it came late in the life of the original PlayStation. And that's the Italian job done by Rockstar. This is great. Another game that has multiple modes on it. You can drive around. There's like a, uh, a destruction mode on it where you're like having to hit cones and stuff. But I like the one where uh, the checkpoint mode in this game where you go around. It's a lot of fun. And, and well done, and, and especially when it came out at 10 bucks. This game is still really cheap 
um, this is a this is a, a great game to check out and often overlooked. And so, uh, hats off to them uh, making that game. And, and just a weird tie-in with a movie that came out a long time ago. So, but it's really cool, the actual game. But I like the the extra modes in the game. This next one you can get uh, with other games as a collection on modern consoles, but Mega Man X4 is fantastic. To me, uh, it's it's like kind of like the height of great 2D gaming, and you know the one on the PlayStation is, is great and still relatively inexpensive. You know, you, you look at the ones on the Super Nintendo, uh, they're they're pretty pricey, but you know for some reason. They produce quite a bit of Mega Man X4, and it's kept the value of this one uh, fairly affordable. And it's and I think it's it's one of the better ones in the series. It, it may not be the best one, but I I like it, and I think it represents the series well. Definitely check it out. Fantastic. All right, wrestling fans, I haven't forgotten about you. And while this is not the best wrestling game, it's it's still a really decent one. And it's a WCW versus the World. There's lots of different wrestlers from uh, different leagues in this game. You know, typically when I play a wrestling game, I try to go back to like an iconic 80s wrestler. So, uh, you know, I typically pick someone like Hulk Hogan or something. <laughs> the Sting's on here as well, Ric Flair. Um, there's several other iconic wrestlers on this. And it's still a lot of fun to play. You know, maybe you grew up with this or maybe you remember these wrestlers. There's a lot of other, uh, there's some Japanese wrestlers on here as well. And I, I think it's got something for everybody. Tons of moves. Each character has got a ton of different moves. And so, you know, I know wrestling games can be a lot of fun. And this one's well done. Definitely check it out. Also need to note that, uh, you know, some of these games are cheaper. The Greatest Hits version uh, sometimes is less desired on some of these games. Uh, but, yeah, so, uh, you know, definitely look for that, that green label. You know, for some people, they don't care for it. But you might be able to get a better deal on it. All right. Uh, Kenzie, I'm thinking of you when I'm picking this, and this is Final Fantasy IX. And so, IX is kind of the overlooked one. I, you know, it's, you know, Final Fantasy is very popular, but IX was well done on the original PlayStation, and it kind of got overlooked because you know Seven gets a lot of the popularity. But I, I think it's, I think it's great. Uh, I definitely like the story a little bit better, gameplay mechanics and everything. I never did beat it. This is something that, you know, if I had more time in my life, I definitely would want to want to go back and play this a, a, a bit more. But uh, for, for fans of the series, I think 9 is pretty solid and still really cheap. They produced a ton of Final Fantasy 9 and, and you know, it, it, was, it was produced uh, in the millions. And so you can still find this relatively cheap. Definitely check it out. This is my favorite, one of my favorite 3D fighting games of all time. I played this back in the day with my roommate. We settled arguments. I've talked about this game quite a bit, and that's Tekken 3. Uh, I remember the first time I saw Tekken 3 running on a PlayStation, I was like, no way, because I, I, I played it in the arcades. I was like, there's no way they're gonna get that game to run on an original PlayStation, and such an excellent port. The gameplay is all there, the characters, the extra things in it, extra modes. I really like this game. But Paul Phoenix is always my favorite to play, typically typically in a in a in a PlayStation Tekken game. And I, I really like this. Uh, still to this day, you know, the graphics are a little bit dated, but you know, this is still fun to play, and I recommend you checking this out. For fighting, look no further than Tekken 3. Uh, it just, to me, the gameplay is so solid, and, and I love I love the fact that you can juggle in this game. I, I got to the point where I could just, you know, constantly, uh, you know, do move after move on somebody. It's a lot of fun, so Tekken 3, definitely. All right, funny story about this next game. I've shared a little bit about it, but this is actually the first game in which I played I played hooky and didn't go into work and wanted to play this game, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, to me, changed racing forever. It was a great sim. So much content in this game. And I know Gran Turismo 2, some people recommend it over this. I like to start with the original and Gran Turismo to me is everything you would want in a classic racing game. There's tons of customization, uh, excellent music, sound effects, and yeah, the graphics are a little bit dated, but you know, if you just focus on the gameplay, you uh, are gonna get a ton of gameplay and uh, game time in this. You know, I remember my, my, butt, my roommate at the time, we, we played typically two games, Tekken 3 
or Gran Turismo. And so uh, between us, you know, we, we would we would sit down and we would choose what to play. Uh, my roommate definitely liked to do the marathon games in this, the, the, the ones that are, you know, over 100 laps. Uh, I like kind of the more arcade stuff in this game. I remember uh, getting one of the licenses was pretty challenging too, but that's my picks for uh, 10 good and cheap PlayStation games. What are your picks? Do you have any memories of playing these back in the day? Are you still playing these? Comment below as I would always love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for the ongoing positive support. It means the world to me. Hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much and you take care.